Hi, I'm Kevin Cowan. Welcome to Happy Camper. On this episode, we're going to talk about winter camping, the joys of winter. Gotta love that. We're going to show you how to make your own pulk sled, and we're going to go over the different shelters uh, you can use to sleep in the snow. You gotta love that when it's minus 20. <laughs> I love winter. I really, really do. Oh! <laughs> oh geez. Winter is a fantastic time to go camping, it really is. You got a whole bunch of advantages going on. First of all, you don't have to carry your gear on your back. Uh, you can pull it on the snow, because snow is slippery. <laughs> Use a pulk sled. Now you can buy a pulk sled for maybe 400 bucks, or you can make one for 21.95, right here. <laughs> and uh, I, it's quite I'm quite proud of this. Uh, it's not the best sled in the world, but uh, it's 21.95. So what I did is um, I uh, borrowed <laughs> my daughter's uh, sled, and hope she doesn't notice. Dad, have you seen my sled? No. Uh, go ask your mother. Then what I did is I drilled holes through it. I <laughs> hope she doesn't notice this. She said no. Oh, she must be a liar. I drilled holes through it. And basically what it is is it just a, a keeple or whatever they're called. What are they called? Um, she said she's not a liar. Uh, go ask the dog. Anyway, this thing. And what I did underneath is I put a bolt and washer so it doesn't slip off. That's it, I'm moving out. Oh. And then it's just a little clip like this and I just clip it on. Like so. Now what I did here is I drilled uh, uh, a hole through the half inch uh, um, PC pipe here and I put a piece of rope through there and tied it on here and just knotted it and it, it's good. Did the same side here as well. Now you could, in theory, put the rope all the way through the PC pipe uh, if you wanted. I just didn't need to. I just did this and it was fine. So, PC pipe. Why I use PC pipe, uh, you can actually haul your gear and pull it on a rope, uh, but eventually you're going to have to go down a hill. So what's going to happen if you use this rope for that, you're going down the hill, the sled is going to go past you. You have no control over it. But if you use something rigid like a pipe, or anything else really, uh, then um, you're going to actually have more control going down the hill and you're not, not going to have that problem. And what I did is I attached the other end to uh, an old backpack harness I had uh, in the attic and I attached it the same way. Just little, little rings there, key rings there. And just go through the pipe as well to put the rope on. So it works. Now why I crisscross the PC pipe like this is you can have it parallel if you want. Uh, you, you still have control going down the hill. But uh, I actually was told, I, I don't know why this works actually, but I was told if you crisscross them, you have more control going around the corner. So if you have them parallel, you'd have to go around the corner like a, like a big truck to do a wide turn. <laughs> when they're crisscross though, you don't. It actually go, goes around the corner in a tighter turn. And uh, really, in all honesty, I don't know why that works, but it does work. Well, that's a pulk sled for $21.95, and uh, I had a lot of fun making it too. And it's fantastic to use uh, while winter camping because you got a lot more gear, to be quite honest, when you're winter camping than you are summer camping. So you need to haul everything on a the sled. There's two main types of shelter to use while winter camping. Uh, the first one is a four season tent. Not a three season, a four season. The differences between a three season and four season uh, the, you know, the type of tent that you would use in the summertime compared to one you would use in the wintertime is that it's, first of all, it's A-framed. The reason why is that you want uh, uh, it to withstand a snow load. So if a whole pile of snow uh, lands on it, like it did last night, uh, the snow is going to slide off the sides. If it's a dome shape, it could uh, collect on the top and then collapse your tent, which is not good. The poles as well are really good poles uh, for the same reason. Then uh, the other, other thing that's really, really important, to be quite honest, between that, the a three season and a four season, is ventilation. Uh, there's vents on the top. See, you can close that if you want, but it's open. There's also a vent on the side. It's a really good tent because there's a lot of ventilation. Why do you want the tent to be ventilated? Well, uh, when you're breathing, all your moisture coming out of your body, you don't want that to collect inside the tent. Uh, it will rain down on you later on, and it, it'll get all clammy and cold and not good. The other thing about uh, uh, a tent like this is that it's lightweight. I mean, you got a lot of gear while winter camping, so you know having a lightweight tent is really good. And this is really lightweight. Woo! <laughs> See, told you it's lightweight. Now, who said winter camping's not fun?
So the second option is uh, what's called a stove tent, a prospector tent, uh, a hot tent. Uh, what it is is just a, a canvas dwelling that has um, a stove inside and it's a heat source. Now, yeah, it's not as uh, lightweight as the Four Season tent, obviously, uh, but it has a heat source. <laughs> and when the temperature drops, you're going to love that heat source. So it's a pretty sturdy tent. It's a lot, this one's got aluminum poles. It's by uh, Snow Trucker. Uh, I just got this. I love this tent. And uh, it's only 27 pounds. It's not too bad. It's for, uh, this one here is for three people. And yeah, you, you put a, a stove inside with a pipe sticking out the side. And there's no uh, issue about the, you know, the flames are inside the tent because around the uh, perimeter of the hole where the pipe comes out, it's a, a fireproof material, so it's fine. And I gotta tell you, like really, when the temperature really does drop, uh, you're gonna love it in, in there. It's like a steam bath. It's so hot in there. Uh, it makes a huge difference between sleeping in this when it's like minus 20, 30, whatever, and sleeping in a four season tent uh, inside just your sleeping bag. So. Uh, I love this thing. This has ventilation as well, just like the Four Season tent. There's one uh, opening on this side, another on the other. Uh, this is canvas. Uh, it comes in a lot of different materials, but I actually like this lightweight canvas. So yeah, you basically uh, you tie it to the sides here like this and hold it, hold it out. Now, if you can't find something to tie it to, which is uh, could be an issue, there's a whole bunch of different ways. Instead of putting a peg in the ground, um, what you really do is you actually put a log, tie the log to this rope, dig a hole in the snow and then pour water on the snow and let it freeze and you've got an ice peg and it works really well. And you make yourself a tripod to hold the pipe up and uh, make sure it's nice and safe and sound and it's perfect. So if you look inside, there's lots of room. That's a great advantage. You can stand up in it. Of course, uh, disadvantage is it's got no floor. You have to put a tarp down. Uh, it's snow on the ground. But this is a stove and a uh, fantastic stove. There's a pipe uh, with an elbow that goes out and it's got a, a damper on here as well, and uh, also a damper on the front. So uh, you put a big bun a big log uh, there uh, before you go to bed. It's called an all-nighter. Uh, put the damper down, and it should keep you warm until maybe about two in the morning. <laughs> and you can also hang your stuff up at night to dry it, and that is a beautiful thing about a hot tent where the cold camping with the four season, you really can't dry your stuff. And that's what gets you, gets you cold, really, is when you get things damp and wet. You really have to get things dry. And a huge advantage is to uh, get it all dry inside the tent here. This is uh, what you cook on. And basically you can live in here for like uh, all winter if you want. It's a little tiny home. I, I just love this thing. Now that's winter camping. So that's winter camping. Sounds crazy at first, but give it a try. You'll love it. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Ontario Tourism. Hey, if you want to spend seven days with me this summer, check out the contest below. It's called the Classic Canadian Adventure. It's going to be an amazing time. I hope to see you out there. Now, I got to get out of here. It snowed last night. There's like three feet of snow. Can somebody give me a hand here? <laughs> this is great. I love winter. I love it. Happy camper.